Hey, you all. So, I'm on break. I'm at work. What's so crazy is today is Mother's Day. <laughs> and I know you're like, Nurse B, why are you at work on Mother's Day? Look, let me tell y'all a little something. I met my husband at work. On the day I got married, I went to work. <laughs> and on Mother's Day, I'm going to work. I don't know. I'm a work person. Like, I don't necessarily, like, want a job. But I'm a worker. Like, I work. Like, even if I didn't have a job, I'm going to do work. Like, does that make any sense? Like, I'm a worker bee. If that, I'm just, a, I like to stay busy. I like to get stuff done. So, on Mother's Day, we had fun. We went to a brunch um, at this restaurant that my brother is the head chef at. Had a great time. And then I uh, got this shift. I was like, I'll just get the shift. And I'll do my finals Tuesday. And then just go from there, y'all. Just go from there. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's um, it's been a long time coming, to say the least. So, and I'm documenting it with y'all. And I'm always in my day going to work car. My husband helped clean out my car for me, though. He pretty much, all I gotta do is really like vacuum it. Um, Cause remember I had all I had stuff in my back seat for the longest um yeah we had a really good time my mom was there my mother-in-law my sister-in-law my sister and my brother's wife and me we all went it was really really nice it was really nice i just got done eating because i had got some food from there to take to work but i'm about to go back to the jizzab in a second Oh my gosh, yeah, it feels so good outside today too. But this way, I'm really, I'm not, so today is Sunday. I'm picking up on Sunday. I'm not going to pick up again until probably Wednesday, maybe. So, I'm okay with working today because I'm not going to pick up till like Wednesday, maybe. So, but yeah, excited. Um... I'm really excited. I know I don't look like it because I just be trying to take it in and then like I also be like tired, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes I be tired. I feel like I'm getting some really good sun. Yeah, I'm I'm getting some really good light with this, but I don't know. I'm trying to see. So I'm working at a place. It's okay. I actually came here. Um, I came here for my preceptor, not preceptor, when I was a CNA and I was in nursing school for my LPN. I used to come here for clinicals, like in the beginning of our clinicals, uh, I came here. And then the other night I was at a job that I used to go to for clinicals. Then yesterday I was at a job that I used to go to when I worked for the same company, but this is a different location. All right, y'all. I'm about to go back in this job. Now I'm tired. Now I didn't just ate. I went out for a little drive, get some fresh air, and I'm sleepy now. Sure. I look tired, don't I? <laughs> I'm tired now. I didn't went to brunch. I didn't ate, but I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna get through the rest of the night. I did most of my work already. So I'm about to do the rest. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm about to go so I can get some stuff done at work and then hopefully get a little bit of studying done for my final Tuesday. So, yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And we're almost done. I don't know when this is going to pop up. If it's going to pop up, like, you know, where it's going to pop up at. Let me put my neck on glasses on so I can look more awake. Do I look more awake? I woke up. So, there's a lot of cars that just be coming through this look. I just drove to a random spot. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I know I ain't really talking about nothing. I'm just honestly chilling. Like, I hope y'all having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm just chilling. I ate good. I was around good people. That weather good. Like, it's a good day. And I went to work. I'm about to make some money. I'm about to actually get paid tonight. Once I put in my time sheet, Ronnie do it.
But I'm about to go, honey, she's giving highlight. I don't even have any highlight on. It's just like I'm naturally getting touched at the highlight points, but I legit have no highlighter on right now, y'all. None. You see how my, it's like, yeah, I have no highlighter on. I guess I got some sun today. Got me a little tan. Hope y'all doing well. I'm just looking into traffic right now. I'm never gonna be the same age again. I'm never gonna be an LPN again, <laughs> like going to become an RN. You know what I mean? The LPN before the RN. I'm not gonna be that anymore. Sometimes stuff be hitting me like that. Like, I be thinking like, oh, you know, things are changing right now. Like, my life is probably going to change. Um, and that's what I wanted, right? That's why I went to school to, so that going to school and getting the degree will push change because now I have more flexibility, right? Or I can choose to have it. I have more longitude than latitude, whatever. Whichever one, no, latitude. I have more latitude. Do you get what I'm saying? Like... RN doesn't necessarily have to take you up, but it can take you out. Does that make sense? It has, it can, some jobs, like some, it can take you actually up and out, but meaning like you can either climb the ladder, right? Or you could be the type of, per like you could do everything. So me, I'm the type of person, I'm going to do everything. And in me doing everything, I'm already at the top of the ladder because I see everything. I know what's going on. So even if I'm not at the top of the ladder, like I've done enough, seen enough, known enough in this industry that I'm at the top of the ladder. Like that's to me what becoming L like going from LPN to RN is going to allow for me in my life to have just to see things from totally different perspective from all different settings. Now people can say, oh, well you could do it as an LPN, but for me, I wanted to do it as an RN. I wanted to work in um, peds or work in a wound clinic or work, uh, I don't know so much management. I'm not the management person. I'm more of a, I realized one of my strengths in nursing is paperwork. Not necessarily like charting and stuff like that, but actually organizing like we still need this on this pack. probably mds because i'm i'd like that to me i like to see okay this is charted this is done this has been completed like that's what i like uh i like that part of nursing but being somebody's supervisor no ma'am some people like to go to aria so it could take them up the ladder i'm not i'm not naive enough or not aware of myself enough to say that i don't care about the ladder because to me i do believe that holding some type of um like being in charge you know holding some type of rank to me that is important having some type of authority and to me i don't really see it as authority that's why i'm just trying to say like how it makes sense but just having being in the higher of the hierarchy is important in any type of field because it's important to see what's going on up there but for me that's not what I'm necessarily striving for, but I know I'm going to get there. But when I get there and when I am at some type of height in nursing, I need to make sure that I'm not losing aware. Like I'm not losing my awareness to what's going on down there. And I think some people, when they try to go up the ladder, especially in nursing, and I can only really talk about this to healthcare. That's the field I know the most is nursing. When they try to jump up the ladder before they do the field work, that's where things can become convoluted. Like that's how things can get really, but some people, that's what management, cause they know they don't want to do the floor work. They don't want to do the field work. They want to just go in management, which I don't blame them because the people that do the, the, the work, they usually don't want to go into management. So it's okay. You know, I'm not saying it's anything wrong with just jumping the ladder, but for me, that's not for me. No, cause I can only give a company so much of me. Like I'm I'm the best contracted employee you will ever have. But as your actual employee at this point in my life, hmm. Sounds a lot like work. 
<laughs> I did not come here to work. Remember that, okay? I'm here, but I did not come here to work. So, I'm about to take my butt back to work. My hair is at a weird length. Like, in the back, it's longer. I don't know, but I'm a rocket. I'm a rocket. Rocket man? Oh, it's gonna be a long, long time. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let y'all go while I go up to this jizz up, jizz up, jizz up. Go up to my gig that I got. And mm, she's giving even more peach goddess glow, honey. On the high end, you say illumination. On the low end, you say beautiful brown sunshine. I'm gonna go on up into this job. What is this toast time? That's a little club. You see how the people park? You know what? Let me let me put this phone down. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta turn into oncoming traffic. I want to get another tattoo right here, like right here. Okay. I love you all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see. I may or may not do them because I'm just doing whatever I do. I don't freaking know what to tell y'all at this point. If you're here for me, you're here for me. You're going to get this. You're going to get what you need to get out of what I give you. Okay? <laughs> what is it, Mariah? It's day one. Yeah, make a wish. <laughs>